Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at map cutter and I'm going to be explaining how this all works and uh, giving some resources and stuff that you guys can basically go and uh, use to find out what blocks and stuff have the map cutters. So I've created just a basic block to do the example with and if we actually open up the map itself as you can see, it's a different color than what it would normally be. Um, what I've used is the setting for map color. We'll get into this a little bit, but as you can see, it just basically inherits uh, the same texture or the same color as diamond blocks. If we go and grab diamond blocks, we can place uh, some down here. Really like the new texture. All right, so if we do that, as you can see, it's the same exact color as a diamond block. Uh, if we place down something like emerald, um, it should be its own color as well. So we'll replace this down like that. And it should now be green, yeah. So as you can see, it's a different color now. Uh, so I'm just gonna be basically covering um, where to basically find the uh, the colors and the settings now. So let's uh, hop over to Creator and I'll explain what setting you need for your block. Okay, so when you're in your block itself, uh, what you want to be looking for is block color on the map, which is a setting uh, found mostly on the advanced properties section. Uh, it might change over time, but the setting name should be the same. Uh, under here you'll have a drop down box that you can select your colors from and all these colors are uh, from vanilla minecraft and you can actually go to the uh, map item format wiki page and it will list what blocks are in that particular group so uh, none uh, would be things like void air, air, cave air, things like that uh, grass, uh, slime blocks, oddly enough, and uh, grass itself. And uh, we used diamond, which uh, uses a block of diamond, beacon, prismarine blocks, um, dark prismarine, and conduits. And then there's a few other ones as well. It also looks like 1.16 will be adding, uh, I believe, a few new ones. So, yeah, just something. Uh, you guys can check out on your own time. I'll leave a link to this page in the description of the video so you guys can quickly go here if you want to. Um, outside of that, uh, that's basically all there is to it. It's just a, a little extra feature that allows you to change the color on the map uh, specifically and um, it gives you a pretty decent amount of options. So um, one last thing that I probably want to share is with the, the colors and stuff that you can do, it also affects based on altitude. So um, there's different shades and stuff that you can actually create um, like paintings and stuff with. Uh, this is a great example of someone uh, creating a very complex uh, model like this and then they ended up making a um, a uh, painting with the map itself. So they've used an entire uh, map chunk there to create the painting. So it's just something extra that you can do with maps. Um, Jarecraft uh, actually figured that out not too long ago and um, it's nice to actually see that Wiki actually has this uh, an example on here as well. So outside of that, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.